So if you've watched my last video and if you just joined me you from the thumbnail, you can tell that I have a choice to make. So I live a rather simple life, but I do spend money on what I could call the immersion of life. This Harley Davidson is the expression of that. I've always wanted this motorcycle all blacked out in this bobber style. It's perfect before, after. I can actually draw some parallels now that I think about it between the Sportster and the Leica camera. They both have a rich history and they're both well made. Some people will say that I'm crazy for even considering giving up my motorcycle for just a camera. But I think the move is in perfect alignment with my plans. It's my birthday today and every year on this day I take stock of my life. So the decision to buy a digital Leica has been part of my vision since 2016 when it all started with the M6. In a perfect world, I would keep the motorcycle and I would also own the Leica. But you know how that goes. Besides, I find it fitting having to give something up to reach a new level in your life. A few viewers agreed with selling the motorcycle, others not so much. One viewer reasoned that the bike could get me killed, <laughs> understandably. Someone else commented that the bike would transport me to cool places where I could use the camera. At the point of the recording, 56% of the viewers that voted wanted me to sell the bike, whereas 44 voted me not to do it. So what does this motorcycle mean to me? This motorcycle has allowed me to look fear in the face and overcome it. It has made me live a fuller life. It has boosted my confidence in my mechanical aptitude and self-reliance. The motorbike has forced me to leave my comfort zone and get after it. I believe both Harley Davidson and Leica embody this go-getter, no plan B mindset. Both of these brands are about living life with no regrets. So that in my old age, when I can't get on this motorcycle, or when I can't line up that focus patch, I can think of the wonderful memories. I can think of the amazing places. And I can admire and share all the prints I created, the strangers I met, and the connections I've made. All that to say this, tomorrow I have a serious buyer coming to see this motorcycle. And I'm on level with you, I'm gonna be honest. I don't know that if and when that time comes that I'll be able to give up this motorcycle. I don't know that I'm gonna have the wherewithal to go through with it because it feels a bit incomplete and I need closure with the motorcycle. So this is what today's about, a possible last ride. You know, they say that riding a motorcycle is like being the star in your own movie. And driving a car is like sitting on the couch watching that movie. Motorcycles are exhilarating, but they're also dangerous. Each time I get on, I have to suspend the likelihood of being severely hurt or even killed. That fear is what's kept me from riding all these years. But again in 2016, something in me snapped and I set out to tick all the boxes. You know, in life, it's good to know what you want, but I think equally, it's good to know what you don't want in your life anymore. I'm taking this trip because when I get home, I'll have a clear understanding whether I can let go of this motorcycle or if it's meant to be part of my life a bit longer. Now, if I keep it, I'm gonna have to find another way to finance and pay for the Leica camera. Now, don't get it twisted. I'm not giving up on getting the Leica camera if I choose to keep the Harley. But for now, I just want to thank you guys for joining me on this ride. Until the next ride or the next video. Whew, that was fun. I really enjoyed using the 360 camera. Thank you for sticking with me. I know, I know. Some of you guys are dying to know if I uh, sold the Harley Davidson or if I ditched it for the Leica M. And I promised a big reveal later on this week. Um, if you like the content, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. But until then, y'all, stay creative.